name is Lucy and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I hope that you are doing well. If you would like to watch more of my videos, then please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. I make videos on musical theatre, drama school, being an actress, figuring out how to be an adult, moving, because I'm always moving apparently, vlogs, lifestyle, lots of different things. And I would love to have you back for more of my videos and it would mean so, so much to me if you were to click subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know. And for today's video, I'm gonna be doing something that's quite embarrassing. And I don't really know if I want to do it, but here I am doing it anyway. And that is gonna be me reacting to my old TikToks. Now, if you don't already follow me on TikTok, then do go follow me now. This video, I promise, is not a representation of the content I post now. The content I post now, in my opinion, is pretty good and I really like it. And do go follow me over on Instagram as well if you don't follow me over there. I do post like reels and stuff as well over there. Basically, like everyone else, in lockdown, I decided one week I wanna start TikTok. Didn't commit to it fully at all. Like, gave up after I think like two weeks weeks because I was uploading three YouTube videos a week at that time I remember and I was chaotic and just literally filming YouTube content all the time. In hindsight I do wish that I'd like done TikTok properly in lockdown because I feel that's when people like popped off and grew. But anyway hindsight is a wonderful thing and everything happens for a reason and maybe the reason was so I could make this video and embarrass myself of the awful TikToks that I was making. I did not have a clue what I was doing like at all. Most of these TikToks are now on private, so if you go to my account, you won't be able to find them, but I'm now just putting them out in this video, so kind of makes the fact that they're private pointless. But anyway, it's fun to laugh at yourself, because if other people are gonna laugh at you, you might as well laugh at yourself too. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm on my privated bit on TikTok. There's quite a lot. The first one at the bottom, it's just weird, like the cover is me like this. And it says sad. And I remember I was in my garden and I remember propping my phone up on a garden chair. Let's watch. Right, I mean, it's a bit boring. This was literally when college just closed for four weeks because of lockdown. This was me showing my emotions about how I felt about it. I just look really bored. I'm just like, Boring. Oh, I don't know if I want to watch this. This was when I decided I'd do a tutorial on how I dye my eyebrows. I look like I got slugs on my face. Here we go. Oh, this is only the wiping it off bit. I didn't even show me actually putting it on. So put my cellar water on a cotton pad and wipe it off. Great tutorial, Lucy. Thank you so much for that. I learned so much. Did I not film one of me applying it? What was the point in that? It wasn't even a tutorial. I swear I remember filming applying it, but anyway, right, here's another two from my garden. Here's me in a black top, musical theatre bop or not. It's just so cringy. Also, like, why is the quality so horrendous? Like, I had an iPhone 10. What a throwback, sorry, to when I didn't know Heathers. I've now seen Heathers three times, and I'm obsessed, and I know every single word of the whole soundtrack. And here I did not. Again, I didn't know this one. That's from Be More Chill. I know that now. This is so cringe. What am I doing dancing in my garden? Honestly, if the people on the other side of that wall saw me, I would want to die of embarrassment. I mean, I'm now showing people on the internet, but whatever. Right, let's watch me in this red top. What's this? Why have I got my hair in my mouth? What am I doing? <laughs> Like, this was a don't sing challenge. Let's be honest, is that actually hard? No. I just sit like this for the whole thing. 
Let's not watch any more of that. Oh, this is when I decided to make my own put a finger down challenges. To be fair, I was quite proud of these. Some of them did all right. I say all right, like for the time, it got 81 likes, the Erdang one. And that's obviously because it was just Erdang people that watched it. So I did like, put a finger down if you did this. Put a finger down if you did that. I did take them down in the end because they were just a bit random. But yeah, oh, here we go. Me dancing. I decided I was confident enough to dance on TikTok during lockdown. They say it doesn't matter if you forget the choreo, you just keep going. I fell over at the end. <laughs> Bless me. To be fair, like, I look quite cute. Like, my hair's all curly and, like, in my little summer outfit. And I was ripped during lockdown. Like, I was so thin and just on it with working out. Oh, here's me dancing again. I loved this, like, multiple people effect because I felt it made me look like a better dancer. Mm. I remember seeing this on Saffron Barker's TikTok and that's why I did it. Isn't it so interesting, like TikTok trends really started with dances, like TikTok was basically all dances and now it's all like point of view, skits, like stuff like that. And now literally most of the stuff I do on TikTok is vlogs, like I would never really dream of doing a TikTok dance, it's just not really my vibe. But um, yeah, that was really where TikTok was at in summer 2020. Like literally me dancing with my hands on my head like this, I'm savage. Everyone knows the start still. Do I? Oh, I don't know it anymore, apparently. This is a really cute top. I should wear this in the summer, this feeler one. Oh, and then we get to the phase where I decided that I was gonna like reinvent all my YouTube videos into TikToks and that would do well. It didn't really, but that was my like plan. So we've got how to have good vocal health for singers. Oh, the sound's not there, good. So don't scream, sleep lots, nope. don't sing when your voice is tired, warm up, nope. don't smoke, yep. love singing. Like cute vibe, cute idea, not great advice. Do I warm up before I sing every single time? No. Oh, this was me doing colouring. I remember I was obsessed with these colour sheets. <laughs> And it was this couple called the Stagey Couple that made these sheets in lockdown and I think I coloured all of them. It was so much fun. It was so satisfying. Like to see part two. Did I ever film a part two? Oh, I actually did. Here's part two of the finished product. Look at that, that is pretty epic. Uh oh, here we go. It's so cool. It was so much fun. I remember sitting for hours doing it. That was probably the only time I relaxed in lockdown actually was when I did that. <laughs> oh, we've got an original sound. When did I play Miss Sherman in fame? I think I sang one song from it in a diverse show once. <laughs> oh, bless me. Fair enough, cute idea. Don't think anyone actually did it, but the thought was there. Oh, flexibility tips. I need them right now. I'm very, very unflexible at the moment. Oh, so cringy. Why am I pouting? And this outfit I clearly liked at the time. Stretch every day. I don't do that. Static stretches. Okay, so do different stretches. Hold it there. Roll my muscles, I do that, practice. Fair enough, but like this, peace sign, pouting, so cringy, I wanna die. Also, my room's gone really, really dark. I'm sorry about this, guys. Oh, I remember this video, right? I thought this was so funny. And to be fair, it actually did quite well. It got like 200 likes, which for me at that time was really good. But then I put it on my hidden because I just felt my toes were a bit exposed. It made me feel a bit weird. But it says when your teacher says, time to hold splits. And I'm there in the splits. Could I just sit in the splits that casually now? Definitely not. There's a clock on the wall and it's moving too slow. 
I do remember doing that and thinking that was pretty funny. I do, I do still think that's funny. And if I did it now when I had more followers, like personally, I think that would do really well. That's enough of me embarrassing myself for today. If you would like a part two of this video, then let me know. Thank you guys for watching. As I said, please do go follow me over on TikTok. I promise my content is a lot better now. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I actually think this jumper was quite fitting for this video. Thank you for watching this video. I love you all very, very much. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.